Tori Bowie, world champion sprinter, is dead at 32. She won three Olympic medals in 2016 and the world championship the next year in an intense 100-meter dash. Tori Bowie, a sprinter who won three medals at the 2016 Olympic in Rio de Janeiro and the next year won the world championship in the 100-meter dash with a stunning comeback, has died. She was 32. Her death was confirmed in a statement on Wednesday by USA Track and Field, which provided no other details. The Orange County Sheriff's Office said in a statement that its personnel went to a house in Winter Garden on Tuesday to check on a woman in her 30s who had not been seen or heard from in several days. They entered the home and found the body of a woman, whom they tentatively identified as friend to Tori Bowie. The statement said there were no signs of foul play. At the 2016 Olympics, Bowie won a gold medal in the 4x100 relay, anchoring a team with Tiana Bartoletta, Alison Felix and English Gardner that finished the race with a time of 41.1 seconds. She won the silver medal in the 100m dash and bronze in the 200m. The U.S. relay team advanced to the Olympic finals only after winning an appeal of a ruling that would have disqualified them from dropping a baton in a qualifying race. The American runners were allowed a rerun after Olympic officials decided that a Brazilian runner had interfered with Felix as she was about to hand off the baton to Gardner. To make it to the finals, the U.S. team had to run alone on the track in a time trial and do so faster than the slowest qualifier for the finals. They did, recording the fastest time that day, and went on to win the gold with Bowie as anchor. Bowie's World Championship title came the next year in London in a dramatic 100-meter race. Mary Jose Tallow of Ivory Coast had sprung into the lead and seemed well ahead of the rest of the pack, but Bowie accelerated, caught up to Tallow and leaned through the finish line ahead of her before tumbling to the ground. I think it was more of a lean, and you know, I just lost control of it, Bowie told an interviewer from BBC News after her win, adding that her fall came from just wanting the win so bad. She won one more gold at that world championship in the 4x100 relay. Her sister, Tamara Bowie, who also ran track, told Vogue magazine in 2018, Tori has a second gear that nobody else has. French Rich Bowie was born on August 27, 1990. Her grandmother raised her in Sand Hill, Mississippi, a small town outside Jackson. She graduated in 2008 from Pisa High School in Brandon, also in the Jackson area, where she played basketball, ran track, and competed in the long jump. Bowie went on to the University of Southern Mississippi, where she became the national champion in the long jump in 2011. She graduated in 2012 with a degree in interdisciplinary studies. She placed fourth in the long jump at the World Championships in Doha, Qatar in 2019. She also worked as a model. Her survivors include her sister. Born in Sand Hill, Rankin County, Mississippi, she attended Pisgah High School and began competing for track in the school. As a junior in 2007, Bowie won Mississippi State High School Championships in the 100m and the long jump. As a senior in 2008, she won state championships in the 100m, 200m and long jump. She also won three state titles in the 4x100m relay as well as competing on the state team in women's basketball. Bowie gained an athletic scholarship to attend the University of Southern Mississippi, doing an interdisciplinary degree in psychology and social work. She represented the Southern Miss Golden Eagles and Lady Eagles in the NCAA Division I competitions. Doing both sprints and jumps, she had her best results in the long jump during her freshman year, coming third at the Conference USA Indoors, second at the Conference USA Outdoors, and reaching the NWCA Women's Outdoor Track and Field Championship, where she jumped in qualifying only. In her second year of collegiate competition, she set an indoor best of 6.23 meter in the long jump and was the Conference USA indoor runner-up. At the Outdoor Conference USA meet, she came in third in the long jump and also made the 100 meter final. A personal record of 6.43 meter for the long jump saw her qualify again for the NWCA meet where she finished sixth in the final. She also jumped nationally at the 2010 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships, managing eighth place overall. During her junior year in 2011, Bowie won both of her two collegiate national titles. She won the long jump at the Conference USA Indoor Championship, where she was also a runner-up in the triple jump. A jump of 6.52 meter was enough to win Bowie her first college title in the long jump at the NWCA Division I Women's Indoor Track and Field Championships. This was also a school record mark. She was also second in both horizontal jumps at the Conference USA Outdoors, then won the NWCA Outdoor Long Jump title with another school record mark of 6.64 meters. For her achievements, she was named the Conference Female Athlete of the Year. In her final year of college at the University of Southern Mississippi, she began with a triple jump win at the Conference USA Indoors Championships with a mark of 13.09 meters, a personal record for the event. She also managed second place in the long jump. 
Bowie competed in both jumps at the NAAC Indoor Championship but was out of the top 8 in both events. Outdoors, she significantly improved her 100 meter best that year, dropping from 11.76 to 11.28 seconds. At the Conference USA Outdoor Championship meet, she finished first in the long jump with a new school record of 6.78 meters, as well as third in the 100 meter, fifth in the triple jump, and seventh in the 4x100 meter relay. In her last major outing for the Southern Miss Golden Eagles, she tried to defend her NWC outdoor title in the long jump, but was beaten by Whitney Gibson and finished second. Bowie began competing in track and field professionally in 2013. At the 2013 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships, she was the 100 meter semifinalist finalist and narrowly missed the long jump team for the 2013 World Championship in Athletics after finishing fourth in that event. She also competed on the IAAF Diamond League circuit for the first time, long jumping at the Adidas Grand Prix and Hercules meets. But we continued to improve at the start of 2014, setting indoor bests of 7.14 seconds for the 60 meter dash and clearing 6.95 meter for the long jump in Naperville, Illinois. After a win at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix, her runner-up finish in the long jump at the USA Indoor Track and Field Championships gained Bowie a spot on the team for the 2014 IAAF World Indoor Championships. Unfortunately, she faltered in the qualifying and was eliminated, coming 14th overall. In June of 2014, she set two new personal records in the 100m dash and 200m dash events at the IAAF Diamond League Championship. She competed in the Adidas Grand Prix event in Randall's Island, New York. Bowie placed first in the BMW Women's 100m race at a time of 11.07 seconds. She ran a 10.91, netting her the top time in the semifinal at the 2014 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Bowie won with a 10.81 time at the 2015 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships to earn a spot in the Women's 100m heats at the 2015 World Championships in Athletics, where she went on to earn a bronze medal. Bowie placed third in the 100m by running a 10.779 at the 2016 US Olympic Trials. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Bowie won the silver medal in the 100m dash with a time of 10.83 seconds. She then won a bronze medal in the 200m dash with a time of 22.15 seconds. She also won a gold medal as a member of the 4x100m relay team. At the 2017 World Athletics Championships in London, Bowie won the gold medal in the 100m dash, achieving a time of 10.85 seconds with a 0.1 second margin of victory. At the 2019 BYU Robinson Invitational on Clarence Robinson Track at Birmingham Young University, Bowie jumped the entry standard for the 2019 World Championships 6.78 meters on April 27, 2019. Tori Bowie, World Champion Sprinter's Last Words Before She Died My mother told me to be a lady, and for her, that meant to be your own person. Every woman should be an inspiration to another and should raise each other up. Sure, you're very courageous. Be strong.